Hello everyone, it's Deb here from Tiny Deer Vintage, and today I'm here with a jewelry sale. Um, I have a lot of different pieces. I have some amber, some older pieces, some newer pieces, sorry, trying to move slow, some Betsy Johnson. So this is a little sneak peek at what I have available today what I'm bringing and let's change the camera angle and take a look at these pieces okay so we're back um, I'm going to start today with this beautiful amber set and um, I'm going to be showing necklaces some bracelets um, let me see I don't think I have any earrings today. Well, I have one pair of earrings, these earrings, but um, bracelets, necklaces, rings, and I have one brooch. Um, I take PayPal for payment. I can also accept Venmo. Um, shipping starts at six dollars. Um, going to take my time and go through each piece. This is going to be kind of a relaxed video. Um, where we can take our time and look at these pieces. It's definitely um, first come, first serve. My email address is tinydearvintage at gmail.com. I will put that in the description box. Um, also, I will post sold items um, in the comment section and I will pin it so it stays at the top. And these items will me remain available for um, about seven days. So feel free to contact me if there's anything that you're interested in. And yeah, so let's just go from there. If I missed anything, I'll try to cover it later on in the video. Or you can always ask me any questions. Um, this is Amber. It's a set. This is... Um, amber in gold filled wire each piece is wrapped they are not drilled no well, this is nope not drilled um, it comes with the matching earrings that are also uh, gold filled let's take it off and take a closer look at it it's beautiful lightweight Just beautiful, I don't know, like a honey and a cognac and maybe a little root bear looking um, natural amber. And here is the closure. It's just a little hook. And it's just beautiful. Let me give you a drop measurement on that. And let's see, this measures about a 10 inch drop to where the pendant area starts. And this little drop right here is about an inch and a half. So that's your measurement on the necklace. and. Here are the earrings. Beautiful, lightweight, again, easy to wear, pierced, has the original backings. And let me give you a measurement on these little beauties. And they measure about an inch and a half. So that's the amber set. And let's see, that is $68 for this set. Amber and gold filled necklace and earrings. Ooh, I hope my lighting is good. And then we'll put that aside. So that is the first item. Yeah, 
$68 for the amber set. Okay, what should we do next? Hmm, 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 hmm. Let's do this Betsy Johnson necklace. Here, I'll take it off of here. And I'll put it down on this one so we can get a good look at it. This is a Betsy Johnson, new with tag. I'll show you the tag. Very pretty, sparkly, beautiful colors. You can kind of go through each little section. This is beautiful. And this is the chain. There's a textured Rolo chain, gold tone on this one. And let's see, here is the tag. Betsy Johnson, uh, $68 retail. There she is. And let's see, at her shortest, well actually it could go shorter because you can really clip it anywhere on that Rolo chain. The drop is nine inches and then you have this extender which, you know, you have a decent amount of play there with this Betsy Johnson. And this one today is $24. Beautiful, would make a nice gift too, $24. Betsy Johnson, if you're interested in a piece, um, please email me and describe the piece. Um, most of these are pretty individual, so they will be easy to identify. Um, screenshots are always welcome as well. Let's see, we'll do one more necklace and then I think we'll do some rings. This is a gorgeous necklace. This is a uh, KR4 Silpata. That's what that is right there. And it's kind of a antique bronze tone. It's a beautiful chain. Oops, it's backwards. And then you have these gorgeous stone. These look like stone to me. I don't think they're glass. These are Swarovski crystal components. Some opalite. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful necklace. This is new without any tags on it, but it's never been worn. Just a beautiful necklace. And this is how it looks on the neck. Beautiful piece, and let's get you a measurement on this. It does have quite an extender, so we'll put it on the shortest and then go from there. And this necklace, let's see, the drop is eight at its shortest, and then you can extend it. So it's just a beautiful piece with these beautiful, high quality components. And oh, did I give a price on this one? This one today is, where is it? $30. It's $30 for this stunning uh, future vintage piece. It's just lovely. It just, it feels like quality. It looks like quality. The opalite is just gorgeous. And look at the Swarovski crystals. I mean, they're so beautiful. You could just get lost in there. There's so much dimension to these rhinestones. So that's this piece, KR for Silpata. Okay, let's do some rings. So these are the rings that I'm bringing today. We'll do the brooch after because it's just one little brooch. So I have Older Carnelian. This is a um, Siam Dancers. This is Lapis. This is a larger ring. This is a Nikki Butler. 
Moonstone. This um, is, I bought this from Dawn at Hudson Vintage, how to collect and wear it. Um, it's azure, artisan, handmade. And this is a gorgeous older moonstone ring, sterling silver. Okay, so let's start with, hmm, I'll start with the ring from Hudson Vintage. This, I love azurite. It's a difficult stone to cut and carve. Um, when I saw this, I just fell in love with it. I love the beadwork. Um, all artisan, crafted, handcrafted, just beautiful and rare. And um, unfortunately, the reason I can't keep it is that it's supposed to be an eight, but it's a tight eight. It's a very tight eight and it barely fits on my finger. Yeah. And when I'm swollen days like today, which is quite often, um, because of my arthritis, um, I can't wear it and it's so beautiful and it should be worn. And I, I paid up for this. Um, I got in a bidding war with someone because I just absolutely loved it. So I know I paid more than I'm going to ask today. And this is $75 today. And I am calling this a seven and three quarters. See how it sits like just above the eight. So that's what I'm calling this ring, seven and three quarters, azurite, artisan, all hand done. It's just, it's stunning. And it's a rare ring. $75. Let me double check and make sure that's what I... Yes. I think I paid over 90 90 plus for this. So that's a good deal. She's a beauty. From Dawn at Hudson Vintage. Let's see. This is a Nikki Butler ring. Um, Nikki Butler is a designer. He only does beautiful quality pieces. These moonstones are just glorious. They're beautiful. Oh, beautiful. And I bought this for myself. And the reason I'm not keeping it, and there's the signature right there. 925 NB, that's Nikki Butler, India, is that it doesn't fit me correctly. Um, this is a ring that, I mean, it's okay on the ring finger, but for me, it's large and floppy on my ring finger. Um, I feel like I wanted it to sit on my middle finger, and it doesn't because of how thick the band is. So, Let's see, I don't remember what size I bought this as. Oops, <laughs> sorry, I just dinged the light. Sorry about that. Um, but I think it's a nine and a half is what I'm calling it. It's a nine and a half. I need a 10 for my middle finger. So there's just, this is just not gonna work for me, unfortunately. But it's it's just a beautiful, beautiful ring and today um, this Nikki Butler sterling silver moonstone ring is $56 it's hard to part with because it's it's just stunning beautiful so that's the Nikki Butler let's see uh, let's do another necklace um, let's see Let's do this one. This is a fun one. This is um, by St. Thomas. I thought this was a fun one for the summer. They are um, abalone discs. You can see all the beautiful color. And they, they have a, they're encased, right? So you see that top on them. And it just makes the abalone 
uh, stand out more and glitter more and it also protects the abalone so here let me put this on the neck so you can see how it lays it's just beautiful it has these medium to large discs with the braided gold tone around it and then you have these smaller ones and then there are pieces in between this is in beautiful condition it's really like new and it's on this wax cotton cord and it has an extender and here is the signature There it is, St. Thomas. And today, the St. Thomas abalone necklace is only $22. It's beautiful. Here, let me give you a drop measurement on it. I love this piece. So pretty for the summer. Let's see. It's clipped at its longest right now. And it's measuring about a 10 inch drop. Hi Pearl, Pearl has entered the building. Hi Pearl, I'm gonna measure it again just to be sure. Yeah, it's about a 10 inch drop. And you can also shorten that. The St. Thomas necklace, $22. Oh, it's just a beauty, it's a beauty. A little mesmerized by that one. Okay, let's see. Let's do some more rings. Hmm. What should I do next? Let's do this one. This is an unusual ring because it's a very large size. I don't know, my, it looks dark to me. Lighting is so fickle. Oops, sorry, didn't mean to move the camera. Um, this is lapis lazuli or lapis lazuli. You can see the um, pyrite. And it has this braided design around. It is sterling silver. has faceting on the edges. And this is a size... Oh, is it an 11 or a 12? I think it's a 12. Let me see. Yes, this is a 12. It's just beautiful, very comfortable to wear. It's too big for me, but I do love it. It's a comfortable ring. It's lightweight, it's easy to wear, and it's hard to find these larger size rings that are still pretty and have some femininity to them. And this is $36. You can see the faceting on the back of that stone. It's just a beautiful stone. So when I find ladies rings that are these larger sizes, I always grab them up because I know they're hard to get. They're hard to find. You don't always want a cigar band, you know, with a plain stone, you know, looking like it belongs on a man's hand. So yeah, it's not signed or anything that I'm aware of. There might be some stamping inside, but nonetheless, this is a lapis lazuli, size 12, sterling silver. I love the beading ring. Beautiful. Okay, let's do, let's do this beauty. This ring is sterling silver. Gloriousness. Look at that. It's just so smooth and buttery on the inside and it has these gorgeous teardrops and these small round moonstones and I'm not sure about this it kind of looks like chalcedony to me so I'm not really sure I just know that it's just gorgeous the blue is just so beautiful and the same thing with this ring I wanted it to work it's so beautiful, but it's tight. It's too tight for me. 
such a bummer because I love it. But so today, let's see. I'm sorry. I'm I'm consulting my notes. Um, I do much better if I have notes for myself. It takes a little bit longer, but um, it helps me. Um, yeah. Today, it's a lot of sterling. $56. This is $56 today. It's beautiful. I love how the stones are open in the back so that it lets light through. And you can see how that's affecting the stones. They're just so ethereal and glowy. Beautiful. Right, let me put this aside. And what did I say? Where is it? Uh, Fifty-six dollars. Okay, let's move on from rings. Let's let's do this little brooch because she's all by her lonesome, and she is so pretty. This is it's vintage. I'm. Guessing it's after mid-century. She's reverse carved. It's a thick, gorgeous, faceted crystal or glass. She's just beautiful. I haven't tested her for silver. I don't believe that she is. Let's see her pin. pin shows a little bit of wear. It's nice and straight, but you can see the back side here has a little discoloration. It could be sterling, it could be tarnished. Um, my laziness could be your gain. Either way, I'm pricing her as, as though she's just base metal. I can give you a measurement on her. And let's see, she's the only brooch I have here. She's $20 today. She's gorgeous. Let me see. She measures like one and a quarter, this edge to edge, side to side, and she's about one and three quarters long. It's a beautiful brooch. I don't see any scratching on the surface, I don't see any flea bites. I try to disclose any imperfections that I find. Yeah, you can see there, it's really in mint condition. She's beautiful, $20. So versatile too. Can wear her on her own. She'd look beautiful on pearls, on any kind of beads. She's a beauty. And that's the only brooch I have today. Let's see, hmm, what should we do next? Let's do this. This is a Swarovski necklace. It's a beauty. In mint, like new condition. These beautiful crystals that are square cut or rectangular cut. They have so much depth depth to them and they're in beautiful condition and they're on this gorgeous silver tone. Um, I know Swarovski plates their metal, I believe in rhodium, but I'm not positive. But bar chain, which is just stunning. It has an extender. And here is the swan. Here's the signature. And she's just a beauty. Very elegant, very versatile, great for layering. Just a beautiful piece. 
I'll give you a measurement on this beauty. Right now it's clipped at its shortest. And today I'm offering her, this is like a seven and a half, I would say, seven and a half drop where she's at right now. And you can get an additional three inches out of the extender. And it's $26 today for this beauty Swarovski necklace. $26. Okay, here's another one that is new with tag. A beautiful necklace by Ann Taylor. Gold tone. With these gorgeous... Let's see, are they rhinestones? They don't have their foil backs, but you see how they're cut? So that they have gorgeous glimmer and glitter. And I'm trying to see the color. Sorry, I'm getting distracted, but this is the signature little hang tag. It has a beautiful hook closure with their signature on it. And here is the tag and Taylor 6950. It's really beautiful. Here, let me give you a better look at it. Here is the chain. And then you have these gorgeous cut glass in this is sort of sorry like an olivine toward toward smoky color and these are very pale green just beautiful it's in beautiful condition So well made, so pretty. And let's see, I'll give you a measurement on this one. We'll do it at the shortest. And let's see, this is Ann Taylor. Today, hmm, she's $24. $24 for new with tags. And Taylor and the drop is eight and a half inches and then you have this extender on it so it's a very versatile piece and that's the Ann Taylor piece let's see I have a few one two three four more necklaces oh bracelets let's do a bracelet it's been a while I don't think I've done any bracelets yet today so we'll start with this one. This is a beauty. This is by LJM. It's a signed piece. Gold tone. You have these little turquoise like, don't know if they're turquoise like, tiny little stones. And then you have the opaline cabochons set kind of offset like this way so you get like the most out of the glow they're set so brilliantly see how they're angled and that just makes it that much more glowy it's such a beautiful piece as you can see I have a lot of that kind of thing so I, I just can't keep them all as much as I'd like to but anyway, it's a beauty. And let's see if I can show you the signature. I believe it's signed in several places. Let me see. It is signed. Right here. Copyright. And they're known for their, um, what's it called, you know, when you revisit 
a trend uh, revival pieces. And this is in beautiful condition. This is the underside. Uh, there we go. It's beautiful. This one too, it's just, there's something ethereal about it. It has the box clasp. And let me give you a measurement on this one. I believe it's seven and a half. Yes, it's seven and a half, maybe slightly shorter than seven and a half. Oh, let me give you a price on this one, bracelet, LJM. This is $28 for this beautiful piece, $28. Okay, well, let's do this one next. This is another bracelet. It is porcelain. And it has these beautiful little um, beach scenes, right? It's a beach scene or a little water scene. I'm trying to look at it closely with the beautiful blues. Um, this is uh, not sterling silver. These are probably, uh, this is probably um, mid-century. That is a guess on my part. I do collect these. Um, I'm wearing this one today. Um, I just thought the scenes were really pretty. You can see fine porcelain you can see that on the underside and it has these this beautiful filigree in between those cabochons are really well set in there it's a beautiful soft kind of silvery color just lovely can kind of get an idea of scale there. This is $20 today for this beautiful porcelain bracelet. Let me give you a measurement on that. It does have two places that you can clip it so you can do it shorter or longer with the uh, fold over clasp. I think I might have called the last necklace a box clasp. It's not. It's a fold over. So the shorter length is about seven inches and the longer one is almost seven and a half so it's a pretty versatile piece and twenty dollars for this piece a beauty okay um, I have two more bracelets so I think I'm gonna finish those right now this next one is a silpata sterling silver and jade and crystal A lot of sterling silver on this one. Whoops. A few layers. A few, is it two layers? It's two layers twisted together. And then you have these faceted jade pieces and crystal pieces. And it has a toggle closure. You can see it sells silpata right there. And this closes this way and let's see sterling silver and natural stone silpata bracelet today is twenty eight dollars it's a nice collectible piece especially if you love silpata it's a great way to add to your collection um, fairly inexpensively for silpata these stones are very cold Oh, let me give you a measurement. And this measures seven and a quarter. It's a fun bracelet, pretty for the spring and summer. All year, really. Beautiful. 
Even the clasp is beautiful. What's the matter, Pearl? Hi, Pearl misses her mommy. So let me make sure I said everything. Seven and a quarter inches, it's Silpata. And hold on, Pearly. And it's $28. I'm gonna pause you just for a second so I can get Pearl situated. And then I will come back and finish up. Of course, it'll be no time for you. Okay, I'm back. I swear it's like having a child. I wouldn't trade it for anything, but it is like having a child. Right, Pearly? Right, Pearl? I mean, she should be on the channel more because she is the um, inspiration. She's my muse. She's the tiny deer. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, so let's do another necklace. This is... I think she needs a little bit of a wipe down and I will do that. This is a Whiting and Davis blue intaglio cameo. Yeah, you can see she, she's got a little schmutz. I will clean that up before sending her out so she is pristine. It's a beautiful, just a beautiful, beautiful cameo in blue by Whiting and Davis beautiful chain, mint condition on this piece. Silver tone. Here is the tag, Whiting Davis. Let's get a look at her on the neck. Just a beauty. She's beautiful. Let's see. Let give you a measurement on her. So it's a 10 inch drop, and then the pendant itself is a little over two inches. And today, this Whiting and Davis. Blue Cameo is $28. She's lovely. Very intricate hair design. Beautiful. $28, Whiting and Davis. Oh, let's see. Let's do this next. I've shown this before. This is a jade necklace. These are all carved jade beads. And when I acquired this, this piece was broken. And it took me a long time, but I searched and I found a replacement piece, miraculously. And I had to restring it. It is restrung on silk. You can see the natural stone. It's very cold. And here is the carved dragon toggle. This is how the necklace works. It's very secure. You've got to kind of, it's a little fiddly to get it off, but that's what you'd want. You don't want it being loose and janky. It's beautiful, the carving, the carving work. It has that luminous quality a jade can have the smaller jade beads in between it's a beautiful piece today I'm offering it for whoops covered up my notes this one today is 125 get it to work on this bus so you can really get a good look at it. Just beautiful. I'll give you a measurement in a moment. Give you a really good look at these beads. Old, older jade pieces. Carved toggle.
is beautiful and I, I kept the integrity. It is strong the way that it was originally. you a measurement for this it's hundred and twenty five dollars I've seen them for two and three times that I think that's a really good price 11 inch drop on this lovely 125 beautiful it was such a pleasure to work with these stones Jade dragon necklace. Okay, let's do, let's finish up the rings. Oh, you were hiding back there. You don't belong there. Okay, I have this gorgeous, older, sterling, carnelian ring. It's just beautiful. GFMW. Sterling, carnelian, you can see to the back of it and you can see how it's sitting in there. I don't know if that's what you're seeing in there is the cup that it's sitting in. It does not detract from the ring in my opinion. Uh, let's see, what size is this? This is just about an eight so this is a tight eight I would call it yeah I'd call it hmm maybe seven and three quarters it's a small eight beautiful and this ring today is fifty four dollars fifty four carnelian sterling silver extremely well made signed just a lovely piece I discounted it today I want it to find an, a new home it's just beautiful a little bit of a almost like a saddle design here where it comes up beautiful. That's a carnelian ring. I've got to change my price because I did discount this one. Let's see. Carnelian. For the carnelian ring, I'm going to do, yes, let's do 48. 48 for the carnelian ring. $48. Okay, next up is this little bypass moonstone teardrop ring sterling silver it's sitting at about a size nine it's signed nine two five let me see i believe that's all that that says but i'm gonna double check it so hard sometimes with a loop to get inside there to see Yes, it just says 925. And again, it's blue flash moonstone. These teardrop shapes, and this is adjustable. It is a true bypass. And right now it is sitting go a little lower than a nine, but I'm calling this a nine. And again, it's adjustable slightly um, you could close it up more you could open it more oh okay so that is the sterling silver moonstone bypass ring and this is hmm, i have it marked at 38 Let's do, let's do 34, $34 for this today. Set very well, pretty. Yeah, let me mark that down. Sterling silver bypass moonstone ring. Uh, 
I'm going to mark that down to 32. 32 for that ring. And last but not least is the little um, Siam Dancers with the little bell. Um, bypass ring. The little dangle. Um, it is currently at a size 7. It's a beautiful sort of sky blue. You can see the goddesses, the little dancers there, and the little bell. I don't think it, does it make any sound? No, it doesn't really make any sound. It does have a little, let me see if I can, if you can see it if I flash a light on it. It has a little bell, you know, I don't know what you call that thing in there, but it doesn't really make any sound, which is a good thing in my opinion. So it's a true bypass. You can see it has some room there to go bigger or smaller. It's sterling silver, enamel, and let's see, she is... $32. $32. Just a beauty. Look at the enamel work on that. It's skioche. You can see right through it. You can see the texture underneath it. And even the bell has these this beautiful detail in it. It's a beautiful ring. Oh, I had to clean up my nails. Sorry about that. It's a beauty. Okay, so that was the last ring, so we'll put this aside. Let's give Pearl a treat because she's being so good. Here you go, Pearly. Here you go. Um, and we'll finish up with these last two necklaces. Oh, actually, I have two necklaces. And I also have one last bracelet. Let's see, let's do the bracelet. This is an unusual piece. It's almost like an artifact. It's old, it's upside down. It's Peruvian, I believe. Um, I think this is a, a gate. Um, someone told me what this image is and I'm sorry, I have forgotten. I've had this for a little while now. It's a beautiful piece. It's beautifully made where it's curved so it sits on the wrist so comfortably. Um, it is marked 900 on the back. Each panel is marked and it has this gorgeous closure. Closes like this. This is very old very very old I've been told I did consult somebody about this who told me I should put it on eBay for 250 but I'm not going to do that um, I haven't been able to find much information on it um, today I'm offering this for 125 I think that's an exceptional deal for such an exceptional old piece. Beautifully made, smooth, like butter. Uh, let's see, I'll give you a measurement on this. It measures seven and a quarter, and it's just a beauty. Whoops, I left the patina, I have not I mean, I gave it a wipe down, but I have not polished it or anything. I just thought it was beautiful. The patina gives it dimension. It's a beautiful piece. And it's $125 today. Okay, so we're down to the last two pieces. This necklace is, um, I believe, has been restrung because this is obviously a more current lobster claw but it's done very well on silk and it's knotted in between. These are Chinese true 
cloisonne. You can see the ridges there, the like gold braiding that the enamel is in. Their beautiful blue background with these pink petaled flowers with the red centers. They're in amazing, amazing condition. They're just in beautiful, beautiful condition. It's a beautiful set. And let's see, I will give you the, whoops, excuse me. The drop measurement on these is 18 inches. Oh, excuse me, the drop is nine inches. They're beautiful. Oh, let me give you a price on these. Chinese cloisonne. Consulting my notes. It's $32. $32. Exceptional deal on these beads. They're a little larger. Um, looking at them, I'm going to say they are maybe a 12 millimeter. They're not a small bead. Beautiful. Beautiful colors on that one. Nice and lightweight, easy to wear. And this is the last piece I have for today. This is by Kendra Scott. You can see the little KS in her signature little rhinestone. This is a toggle necklace that closes like this in front. And then you have this gorgeous enhancer. It does come off. That is natural stone. This is, um, it's Merlinite, but there's also another name for it. And I can't think of it at the moment. Larvakite. It has, um, it's predominantly black and it has these little blue flashes in it and gray and silver flashes. And this one is, um, I believe that is mother of pearl inside in this ravioli, ravioli, ravioli style. And then you have crystal, I believe that's a quartz, but it could be crystal or glass. It's just beautifully made. Beautifully. It's lovely. And let me show you how that sits. It sits on the neck like this. It's a sexy necklace. Just beautiful. Beautiful Kendra Scott. And I have seen this online. And I did price it um, better than any of the prices that I saw online. This chain, it's beautiful. It's like brand new. And the color is, is hard to describe. Um, it's gold, but it's a very pale gold. Like, almost like a gilver. <laughs> like a gold and silver together. It's beautiful. It would be flattering on any skin tone. And that's a Kendra Scott and this chain is versatile because um, the enhancer comes off my nails are so short they're not really helping so here is the enhancer and I'll tell you what this piece measures so the pendant itself is it's about five inches. And then you have a beautiful toggle necklace that you can wear now with the toggle in the back. You can clip it here if you'd rather not have the toggle shown. Um, it's just a versatile piece. And let me give you a measurement on this and a price. So today, this is my last piece, Kendra Scott. I'm offering this for $48, which is a good deal. It's a lot less than anything that I saw online. Um, the toggle necklace part is 
Let's see, let me stretch it all the way out. I believe it's 19 inches. Let's look. No, nope, it's 20 inches. So this piece is 20 inches. Smooth, lightweight, easy to wear. This gorgeous, soft, silvery gold color. Goldy silver color. And again, it is signed on the toggle. KS. And that's it. So that's it for today. Um, that's the last piece in the sale. I hope you saw some things that you like. Feel free to reach out to me. And again, I accept PayPal and Venmo. Shipping starts at $6. And I primarily ship in the U.S. I'm willing to uh, learn to ship overseas. Um, so if you contact me, maybe we can work that out. Um, it'll be a learning experience for me. Um, yeah, I, I hope everyone is doing well. Um, I hope you saw some things that you like. And if you don't want to buy or you can't buy right now, I hope you enjoyed seeing these beautiful pieces. And feel free to contact me with any questions you might have. And thanks for spending time with me. Take care. Bye-bye.